What's the point trying to put this? I love this one so much. Look how forking good it looks. I love chickpeas. Okay, hi guys. Our morning started off amazing by resetting by doing a 1015 the works class the works is my hot yoga place I do here it is so good it's like hot yoga but it's not like the boring like duh, duh. it's a mix of like chaturanga like stuff like that and then also like cardio burst that's the works express is what I do and it has like cardio burst it's so good that I always tell you guys I, I'm like dripping sweat during it towards the end they turn on the fans and open the doors and you stretch so like I don't come out pouring sweat but like I was pouring sweat and then I met a girl at the end which I'm excited to talk to her more but now the plan is it's 1106 at 12 and picking up Ellie um, and we're going to Gwen's because we have an event with Gwen's tomorrow if you don't remember I did the Charleston girls club that's where I met all those girlies and with Gwen's but they're doing another like Friendsgiving event and so we are getting dressed by them so we got to go try on our dresses so I'm gonna pick up Ellie and we're gonna go but first I'm starving any coffee so guess where we're gonna go Baba's but not Baba's on Canaan because they're closed on Monday for some reason Baba's on meeting because they're open on Mondays but they also still have my oats and everything. So yeah guys, happy Monday. We got it, let's ride. I got the goods, half honey, half vanilla latte, and then the best oats in the whole entire world that I can't figure out how to make. Like, like I think they do it because they make their own pecan butter and their own oats, but like there has to be a way I can get like somewhat similar. The apples. Like, I'm looking at it. They told me it's just milk, oats, and pecan butter, and apples, and I'm like, it's just not. Okay, y'all, so I'm unpacking. I unpacked everything from Nashville, put it away in my closet, and then I started to go over here, and I was like, oh my god, all my slippers are lined up. This is my indoor slippers, Ugg slippers. These are my outdoor upscale platforms and these are my outdoor downscale platforms. I feel like every girl has a rotation of shoes and these are my three. But I know you guys were upset at my last video because I didn't show you guys up close to my dresser and I'm so sorry. I kept saying I would and I just didn't. So at first, let me move this over to hide. I used Snoopy to hide the cords, but at first it was going to be different gold hardware, but we landed on this one because it just like looked better. I used Oak and, Oak and Fur. She lives in Charleston and she upscales dressers. Insert picture of what my dresser used to look like. And then she like painted it and then the insides you can't really see the bottom right now because it's like stuffed oh wait you can on this one she like smoothed it all that stuff this is where all my scrubs are gonna go down here is sweatpants like I said this is gonna be scrubs and under scrub tanks this is shorts and jean shorts but I need to build that because I need more room for like PJ shorts this is like my t-shirts how I folded them my PJs and then this is leggings and then biker shorts so I'm super happy with it. And then up here is just like my little perfume tray. And I think it looks so good, but I'm just been cleaning up my room. I'm gonna make my bed and then I'm gonna build this. This is just an extra little thing that I can decorate and use for more storage right here. I found it on Amazon, I'll link it, but I'm gonna build that. And then maybe we'll get to building outside again, but I also wanna clean the kitchen. Now we gotta tech this. So my advice, this is gonna go on the thing I built. This, somebody said on TikTok, it needs to be more beachy, which is true. I like the boot, but I don't like the boot above Taylor. And then people were telling me these were clashing. So we're gonna switch this out. Maybe put it in the kitchen or my bathroom. Let's see if this goes better. I still can't tell if it clashes. Maybe I put it like far away. Hold on, I think that's kind of better. I can't tell. I can't tell if I like this under this. Maybe I put YouTube guy under that. I kind of like YouTube guy under that because it makes the cowboy thing be its own. I like that better. Those books are also probably going to go on this thing. Your green is going to look so good on you. I know. Yours looks so good. Me and Ellie have the same one. I don't know, like the same exact one. That's so fun. I love that. It's really cute. I think it is cute, the high neck. It 
Definitely gonna do hair up, I think. Yeah, we got it with the high necks. Yeah. So funky. Oh, I'm jealous. That color's so good on you. That Ooh. color is amazing on you. Love her. We're not okay. I look into your eyes and see you fade away. No, we're not the same. Fucking wrong with screws because this literally happened to all my outdoor furniture too, where they just won't screw in all the way. Or maybe I just need to use a drill. Yeah, maybe. It's like we're on two sides of the Milky Way. Somehow we got used to the problems. Baby, we got used to falling. I'm tired of feeling blue when I lose myself to love. This is Brooke and Paul's hoodie from Corrupted Closet. It's so cool. The one and fucking only. <laughs> I love it. I'm so proud of Brooke and Paul. I love Corrupted Closet and I love them and I miss them so much. Thank you guys. Dossier. Working with them again. Allie and Bess is this jewelry company and I'm obsessed with them. Oh my god, there's little macaroons. Cute. They have the cutest like jewelry sets. Like look how adorable these little chunky bracelets are. And then this gold <laughs> necklace. And then this white necklace. So cute. This is a Wrangler collab with Barbie. Still haven't seen that, don't know how. This shirt says denim daydreams. Cute. This shirt says Barbie, <laughs> Wrangler. Oh, this sweatshirt is so cute. Barbie, Wrangler, and it's like the carpet material. And then these jeans, we're gonna see if they fit. The back is so cute, it says Wrangler. And then, oh my God, this is such a good bag. It's like jeans. Little bandana, cute. Okay, this is Brooklinen, and I'm working with them on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so as you guys see, the bar stools are built and I'm obsessed. I'm so glad. If you didn't know, I accidentally ordered the bar height and they were like up to here. But I'm so glad I returned them and did the hard work to get the counter height. They look so good. And then now we have our table. It's from Urbandi. It is so stunning. It's like handmade from like Australia. I think it looks so good in the room. And then Mac just ordered insert picture of the console we're gonna put here. I think it's gonna look so good. This was just a temporary one. I think I'm gonna order a white chair for this corner. And I just now moved that bar stool to over here. I mean the bar cart, cause I don't like the bar cart over there, but I kind of like it here. I also hung this. This is gonna go somewhere else, but I hung that. Oops, probably could be a little higher, but for now, I don't hate that. And then we can put the trash can here. There's still a lot of room, but we'll see what Mac thinks. And then, yeah, it's coming together. These that I was showing earlier are our dresses for the event tomorrow that me and Ellie went to pick up. This is Max, and then that's mine. You'll see him on tomorrow. All right, so we've been really productive today. I opened an Alani because I got a little tired, but I'm feeling weird, so I'm like, maybe I shouldn't drink it. But the sun sets now since it was daylight savings time, which I didn't even know it hit daylight savings time. The sun sets at like 5, 26, 30, and it's 4, 44. So I'm gonna get in a walk run. I came to Pitt Street Bridge in Mount Pleasant. It was like a 15 minute drive. I actually haven't been here yet. I think I went with Mac like before I even lived here when we were like little, by little, I mean in college. But yeah, I found a parking spot and I'm about to walk around the bridge. I'm not gonna bring vloggy, but I will get some phone clips for y'all. I can already tell it's gonna be freaking stunning because it's a stunning day. So I'm excited to just run and listen to my podcast as the sun sets. Coming at you guys live from the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. Um, insert clips of the amazing sunset. I'm 
made a TikTok. It felt so good. So I did the little My Run track app. Why do I feel like everyone can hear me? And I ended up running two miles and then I walked some and then sat on a bench and during the run, I was listening to the Kelsey Brothers podcast, New Heights. And then when the sun started to set, I sat on the bench and listened to just a worship music playlist I found on Spotify. My earrings are starting to hurt. I need to save these just for like going out, but it was a worship music playlist on Spotify. And I watched the sun go down and it was super amazing and wonderful and beautiful. I feel like like there's a there's definitely a correlation of me being unhappy in New York and not seeing sunsets and me being happy here and seeing almost every single sunset. Could just be me. But now um, it's so weird. It's only six. It's not even six yet. It's the sunset so early now. But it was so good. It was at Pitt Street Bridge, which I need to find a better path for like running because like it was short, but it was beautiful. And I think it's like an old village with the pretty houses. And I just love seeing society. Like I love seeing the little kid fish with his dad and the girl walk her dog and a girl read her Bible and everyone just smiles at you and it's just the best energy. But I'm starving, so I got the grilled cool wrap, which I've been actually craving since Matt got it like a couple weeks ago. And I'm so excited. I don't think I've had it in years and I'm so excited because it used to be my favorite thing on the menu. And I like to get the light Italian dressing. And then I got a side of kale Caesar salad, that little kale salad, because I want to eat that now as like a little appetizer. Then I'll have the cool wrap at home once I shower and like get on the couch and me and Mac can catch up on Bachelor in Paradise and the Golden Bachelor. And I got diet lemonade. That's my favorite thing ever from here. I asked Mac if she wanted anything because she was sick, but she's okay. She's getting a poke bowl. And then we're going to go home. I'm excited. One for the money, two for the show. I never was ready, so I watch you go. Happy Tuesday. We had our, I love having a table that I can actually fit everything now. We had our coffee, but we were, we don't even have milk in here. So we went downstairs to make our coffee with our coffee machine and it was good. But then I went to go make cereal and forgot I don't have milk again. So we need to go grocery shopping today. But then we did our devotional, my Jesus calling and read the scriptures that match up in today's. And then we decided to get to work. So I'm a little late on my brand deals, so I just turned in one that's like heavy deadline of tomorrow. Turn that one in, it was an Instagram story. Now we're about to film a Brooklinen ad, so I'm gonna switch my sheets and do all that. And I'm gonna use that to go ahead and wash these sheets. So that's the plan, I have the brief right here and we're about to film. It's 11.35 and then our plan today is we're gonna, I wrote down in my to-do list everything I need to get done because I really wanna get a bunch of things done today. Obviously we have to build things, just little like tasks I need to get done that have been sitting on my mind just to get them off my mind. I really wanna build this thing in my room. And then, yeah, that's the plan. I wanna order more coastal decor for sure. Okay, I'm gonna film this. Okay guys, so you've been uploading something onto the computer, but in the meantime, while that was uploading, I didn't film it. I built this, I'm so proud. I think it looks so good in this space. I like it in the middle and there's still a walkway and it doesn't like make it look too crowded. It's hard to see cause it's like against that. But I'll link it in the description, it's from Amazon. I think I'm gonna like put my extra sweat shorts that don't fit in here and then just like maybe that stuff down there cause I don't really like that popping out. I can't decide if I wanna keep these books here or put them in the living room on the table. And then I'm gonna get a picture for this. I like the gold here with the candle, but I'm gonna order a little bit more decor. But for now, I really like the looks of that. Shelf update, here's what we're looking like. May order some more coastal decor, but for now I kinda like it simple with the vinyl. I think that print looks a lot better and matches more. And it being adjacent from this, or across from it, looks really good. Now I'm going to put on a workout fit. Even though I'm, I have no energy. It'll come back to me. I'm gonna put on a workout fit. Hopefully I have the matching pink. And then we're gonna go run on the, my hair. We're gonna go run on the tread. And then we're gonna go get an acai bowl from Beach because I'm craving it. And then we're gonna see if pre Free People has any ribbon because I kind of want that for my outfit tonight, like for hair. And then we are going to do a quick stop at the grocery store, not do crazy because I don't have that kind of energy in me. This has been my gym jacket lately. Don't worry, we're gonna switch it up soon. But I have a couple sips of this drink from yesterday. 
I've been trying to get myself to like these ABC bars. It just has not been working. I'll try again. That's weird. First stop of errands is to return this UPS ladder because it just did not work. We're going to get something else like a basket for blankets, but I have the QR code downloaded and we're going to go return it. Okay, I went to go return it and I didn't realize it said, it only said no label needed. It didn't say no box needed, so I had to buy a $15 box, but the return was worth like $66 or $67 or something. So whatever, I made it back. Not all of it, but like I got some back. I'm just, I don't know, I brought it in a trash bag. Bless his heart for helping me, he was so nice. Um, and I got a parallel spot on King Street right directly across from Free People, how iconic. So I'm gonna go to Free People, I'm looking for like a tan cute ribbon for my hair tonight. To wear with like a partial updo. I wanna see how far beach is, cause I can't decide if I wanna walk to beach or drive. Depends on timing, like I can't decide. I might just drive after this, just cause time. She's so cute and beautiful, I'm probably gonna get distracted in there and get other things, but I need to not. Oh my gosh, I'm back. Oh gosh, why is it like freaking so bright? I don't need that. But I had to sprint because I wasn't gonna pay five bucks to park for one minute. So I rented, but last time I did that I got a boot, so I was very nervous, but I got back and I didn't get a boot. I never got Beach's coffee. They had a pumpkin spiced chai latte and I added a shot of espresso. And then I got my good old trusty, beautiful, amazing beach bowl. My orders, I get the bad bowl. I replaced the bananas for blueberries and the, what is it? It's um the hemp seeds for cacao nips. Let's get a good bite. Nobody can do it like them. Mm -mm. Okay guys, first of all, look at this stunning sunset. I forgot it sets at like literally like 520. I really gotta get ready because we gotta leave in less than an hour. But I got the random urge to come out here and build more. The egg chair, I wanna finish this first, but look. I built a whole nother table, the table, and then the whole couch. I already had just the chair. Also look how pretty that is behind. But like, guys, my fingers are like probably about to bleed. Like that's so dramatic, but like these nails, no matter how hard I do, I sat here and like used the little tool. They won't go in any further than this, but like that's kind of how the chair is too. But they still seem like pretty stable. As I go, I'll try to keep twisting, but for now, they're pretty stable. You just can't like jump in them. But this isn't how I'm gonna set it up, but I know this area will be over here and the egg chair will be over here, I think. I kinda want a fire pit thingy, like one of those mobile ones. I don't know, if you have any suggestions for the balcony, let me know, but we have one more chair and then we'll do the egg chair. I can probably put the couch over there. Once it's all done, we'll do that. Okay, I don't know where I randomly got this urge. Oh, dang it, what window? Oh, oh there. I'm not gonna set them like that. So good. My hands are like, like, oh dude, because if you felt these, like, something's wrong. Like, they won't go in any further, but like, it's stable. Like, cause, yeah. I, cause I secured these so strong. It's so good. And I have one more chair to go, and then I'll do the egg chair. But I'm not gonna do it like this. I'll probably put like the couch there. Couch there. Which, like, let me try that. I was thinking that corner, right there, yeah. but it's like there's so much space there, but like I don't want to just like. Okay guys, I got ready. I don't know if we'll get ready with me, it's on TikTok. But, so we're getting ready for the Gwen's event. I have these little bangles from Princess Polly. These are from Mackenzie Rincher X Every. This bow is the bow I ended up getting from Free People. And it's so cute. Slicked the top of my hair, I hope it stays. Makeup, and then the dress is from Gwen's. I think I'm just gonna do some white heels, even though I should probably do black but i'm tying in like the creamy white purse and these are my comfiest heels and i don't feel like wearing heels no i should do dark heels wait i could do these no i should do black <laughs> you getting paparazzi i know who's getting paparazzi okay. Hey, hey vloggy! Hey vloggy! Hey vlog! Don't Guys, touch me the, say anything the inappropriate! The paparazzi's here and we just can't. <laughs> You have the time of your life every single night. The confetti's raining down. You put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd. You're the talk of the town. Tell what us. Sheep bag. <laughs> it's okay. We have the strap that goes with it. <laughs> and yeah, I've never used it before. A mini gum. Very cute. 
Adapter for the Canon Power Shot. Anna? Yeah, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Next we have these that Gwen gave me last time. Oh, she <laughs> has them. They're perfumes, but they're also candy. Oh, okay. oh. And then I got this from a coffee shop. Someone gave me a, oh, this is from Brady Melville. Oh, random trash. Love. <laughs> trash. Tootsie Roll trash. <laughs> I love to see Rollins. <laughs> Y'all know it. <laughs> and the Cleveland Power Shop will be in my hometown yoga studio. I haven't been there in about six months. It's in here. And pull it off lipstick. And a couple more pieces of trash. This gum is so cute. Right? <laughs> oh. A strawberry gum trash. A broken earring. Oh god, I'm nervous for the rest. <laughs> Oh, picked off nails. If it's 12:30 or one. I, I respond to her because it's 12:30, and she may be getting the times wrong. But the, because it's 12:30 on my, I accepted the invite and put it in at 12:30. Let me look at your email. Sorry, I'm all up in your shit. No, I want you to be. Okay, guys, here's the workout fit of the day. I decided to be productive before I go work out and get coffee today. So I got my laundry from the wash. It was in the dryer, and then I undid that. This, this drink has been going for so long, I can never finish these. Just like two sips to get me through this workout. Yeah, that's the plan. I packed a shirt to go over. We're gonna drop off a Poshmark order. Well, first we're gonna go work out. We're gonna do a mix of treadmill and Stairmaster. Then we're gonna drop off a Poshmark order. Then, then we're gonna go to Baba's on meeting, I think. Our friend Kelsey's there, but I also have a meeting um, with my financial advisor and my dad that I need to attend. And then we'll do some computer work. Good thing I said that, I need my computer. Then we'll come home. I wanna build, finish building, hopefully, the patio furniture. And then we have kickball tonight. Mac left for New York, so it's just me here, but yeah. I just saw a girl with coffee and I really wanted to ask her where it's from because you know when the coffee's that perfect like color of milk? Well, she had it, but okay. Just finished my workout, I'm at USPS and instead of um, instead of going inside, I'm just gonna do this little collection box thing. I'm so sweaty, for some reason I sweated my ass off at the gym. Do you think it could fit in here? Collection box. Yeah, I'm confused. This one's giving collection box. Oh God, will it fit? Boom. And the reason I could do that is because I already had a label. Because it's a Poshmark order. Let's take a second and get a grip and see where we're going. We're going to go to Baba's on Meeting, which I had Monday. But honestly, I keep getting myself. I'm like, you need to try new places. But like, also, like, what's the point of trying new places if I love this one so much? Maybe eventually I'll get sick of it and I can try new ones. Or with new friends, I can try new ones. Let's do... Oh, but Canon's so much closer. The parking sucks. I think I'll do Meeting instead of the bar. So much closer, but the farthest one is still only six minutes. Oh no, my battery's blinking. You guys might not get to see a lot. But I had a great workout. I ran two miles. I ran from 0.5 to 2.5. And then I did the Stairmaster. It felt like 10 minutes. It might have been like eight minutes. The thing wasn't working. Like the machine was working, but the time wasn't working. So I really didn't know how much I did. But it's a good workout. I sweated a whole lot. Dropped off my Poshmark. And now my meeting starts in like 20 minutes. So I low-key kind of got to hurry. We left the coffee shop. We are going to grocery shop at Harris Teeters. Look how cute it is. Okay, I'm back and we're gonna do a TikTok at the same time. Apologies, because we're gonna do a Harris Teeter haul and the sun setting, cause it's like five now. Hi guys, we're gonna do a Harris Teeter grocery haul. It's Wednesday and I went in with no list. So 
it's not my best work. We're gonna get a cookbook and get lists, but like we're not there yet. First things first, I saw these, these frosted snowman cookies. We have to have these. I got Yasso bars. We have a Christmas girls movie night. A snowman, cause I feel like those are hard to find sometimes. A little salad just if I need over the next few days. Best things ever, y'all know I've been getting these chocolate and vegetable muffins forever. I got stuff to meal prep a Greek salad though, which I'm really excited about. So for that, I got the onion. This garlic and herb I got for these, I'm gonna roast some carrots, it's like a snack. Pepperoni for like cheese and crackers. Raspberries as a snack. Honey for my overnight oats or just like sweetener and stuff. Yogurt for the overnight oats and smoothies. Tofu, just an extra meat to have. The carrots to rose. Two apples for the overnight oats. This simply Greek tzatziki sauce for the salad. Almond butter for smoothies and the oats. Chickpeas for the salad. I opened these on the way home. They're my favorite snack ever. But no extract in the oats. Instead, we're gonna try. I got these crackers because they look good to have with cheese. Tomatoes for the Greek salad. Pretzels to snack on after a drinking night. Cucumber for the salad. A couple frozen meals I always like to have in case I'm too lazy to cook something. Cheese for the crackers, we're gonna cut for crackers. These flowers are stunning. I'm gonna mix these yellow and white ones in our vase. Romaine only for salads. This peppermint oat creamer, because now it's Christmas. And then, Instead of Nespresso, we're gonna take a break for a second and go back to Blonde Roast, Starbucks iced coffee. Blonde Roast is my favorite from them. This creamy spinach and tomato linguine quick meal. These also I wanna try in the morning because guys, I've not been on my oat grind. Like I'm gonna try the overnight oats, but the warm oats have not been doing it for me. I can't believe that. So we're gonna try this egg frittata spinach thing. Um, oat milk because I was out. Sleepy time tea, I just ordered a key kettle. Key kettle? Tea kettle. We're gonna become a tea girl. These are more the carrots. Hard boiled eggs I've been loving snacking on with everything but the bagel seasoning. I couldn't find the cotton round, so I got cotton balls. Fig bars to snack on. I would have those at work all the time. Olives for the Greek salad. A Sharpie to write on my ducks in my car. That's gonna go in my car. Feta for the salad. I'm just gonna meal prep that and have it for like lunches or dinners over the next week. Vegetables, because sometimes I'll look at the fridge if I need vegetables and I don't have them. Makeup removal away. And that's it. I think my total is 198. I feel like I got a lot, so slay. <laughs> groceries away made the flower bouquet kind of now i'm gonna meal prep for after kickball so i'll have food ready when i get home i'm just gonna do i don't have the meatballs but i have salmon so i'm gonna do salmon broccoli and couscous i want to be able to do the broccoli and the salmon on the same tray but i need to look up how to do that for the love of salmon do not microwave it says wait it's already cooked fully cooked and ready to dine what the hell it's literally ready to eat like am i gonna get sick It says let it be out 20 to 25 minutes. Like I guess I'll do my broccoli in the air fryer and then, yeah, interesting. From my apartment called Mix. And oh. I'm gonna show you guys. Caleb Mix. loves it. It has Me virtual deep have been, fish. No. <laughs> Wait, Me what is it? Caleb have been dying to go. Mix. Hold on. It looks really fun and they just opened and they have like, it's 21 and up only after like a certain time. And it's like a restaurant and they have like bowling and axe throwing and it looks really fun. That place could be fun. That's unique. It's very unique. What's it called? Mix. Mix. Oh, Hungry Johnson. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Why? Wait, Kaylee, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'm not. Let me feel it now. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, open it. What is it? What is it? You're about to be I'll, I'll sloppy out. if you You're want. Be sure no, no swapsies. No swapsies. What's up, Vloggy? You've been kidnapped for going to the outfield gang. So, we got me and Kaylee out here locking it down. Who is that? Hey. Hey. We're locking down the floor on this side of the field. We got it. Someone's got it. Good morning, guys. I'm gonna start a TikTok. Good morning, guys. Yesterday, I decided I'm gonna run a half marathon. You may be thinking I sound like everybody else on this app, but I'm gonna do it. And it's not like I'm just coming out of the woodworks, like I've never ran before. I run like almost every day, but I don't do that long. Like I do three to four miles every day, but it's a start. So I got the little Nike run app and it has like a little program. So like I put in my race date, which the Charleston one, the half marathon is January 20th. 
And so it started me at like week six or something, which is fine. Um, and so it has my week thing. Today is Thursday. So I'm gonna start. So technically it would have me starting on like a random rest day, but out of the seven options for today, I'm gonna start with the six mile run because I think that'll be challenging myself from like the three to four that I do. So we're gonna go do a six mile run across the bridge. Hopefully, that's the goal. We're gonna get some pre-fuel. Cheers, Gavna. OTD, free people, blue set, it's so cute. I'm gonna change into my running shoes. Like I'm gonna do these pink nobles, but like these are not running shoes. I think nobles more for like lifting, but like my other ones are awful too. So like we're gonna go, there's a place here called Feet and Fleet or something that like sizes you, get your foot, gives you the perfect matched running shoes. So once I show myself I can run the six miles, then maybe we'll drive over to Feet and Fleet and get our shoes sized for new shoes. Oh my God. Guys, I feel so good. I feel so dead. 6.2 miles. Wait, let me read you my stats while I put them on the board. On this board, on this screen, I mean. 6.21, average pace, nine minutes and 25 seconds. 58 minutes and 30 seconds. It took me 750 calories. And I went over from downtown, over the bridge. And at first I was like, oh, this is uphill. This is gonna be hard. Then I went downhill to Mount, Ple Mount Pleasant. And then it was a steep downhill. So I knew coming, when I turned around at three miles, it was gonna be so hard to come back up. And so I turned around and it was so hard at three miles. So I'm at like the climax of the run and I'm literally running uphill. I'm like, <sighs> but then when it evened out, I was like, okay, we're getting back, we're getting back. So then I had two more miles after it evened out. I was gaslighting myself. I was like, you're on a flat road, you're on a flat road. So I think I would have totally been fine if like it was a flat road. I'm gonna try a new route next week when I do a long run again. But that was like really hard because it was hilly with the mountain. And my friend Courtney told me the half marathon that's in January, which I told myself if I can run six miles today without stopping, I'm signing up for that half marathon. It's January 20th in Charleston and she said it's flat this year. So hopefully that'll be good. But I normally, basically I just decided because I like am somebody who I run almost every day and I just do like three to four, two to four miles on the treadmill. Um, and the most I've ever done before was six, but six flat and I was on a tread. So I wasn't sure if I could do this. But when I got to five miles, it's when I was like, okay, bitch, you can do this. Maybe like four miles once I got past the hill, I kind of knew I could do this. And I didn't stop once. That was what I was unsure of, if I was going to have to stop. But I did not have to stop one time for 58 minutes straight. I'm so freaking proud of myself. The feeling after is indescribable. Let's just say I'm in my running girl era. And, but I've been in my running girl era, but I'm in my like intense running girl era. Like longer than just a little run the treadmill. I listened to Annika's Taylor Swift's. Spotify playlist. It has a bunch of different Taylor music. That was so good, my favorite ones. Um, I'll link it. We do need to update it. I need to tell her to change it to 1989 TV and speak now TV, but it's really good. And I did the Nike Run app. I'm doing the half marathon training thing. It tells you like each day what to do. So this week, I'm at the end of this week because it's Thursday. So I chose the one that said like long mile, long run. I, you put in your race date. So I put in January 20th and it had to start me on like week six or something because like I missed a lot of weeks because you should have started a while ago, but that's fine because I run it anyways. I'm not starting from like ground zero, but I don't run this much. So today I did the six, the 10K, and that was my first ever 10K. I've never ran that much, never ever without stopping. And I did it and I'm so proud and I did it over the bridge and I feel so good at the end. I need new shoes. Ryan at three or 4 p.m. We're going to Feet and Fleet in Mount Pleasant. Keaton told us about it yesterday. And they like measure the soles of your feet and tell you what shoes to get based on like what kind of shoes you have because these nobles are for like weightlifting and like my feet hurt so bad. And I started to get a tummy cramp at the end, but like, like not even bad. So I feel good. Mm -mm -mm. Gonna have these overnight oats, which I can, I think I can still do them better, but they're getting better each time. I gotta get the proportions better. I'm gonna chug water. I should probably make like a liquid IV. God, I feel like I just lost so much electrolytes. I put like all my like healthy for you stuff in a bin like this. But I feel like I just got really dehydrated from that run. I'm excited, y'all. And like it's so fun to track with your friends and do and just like post about it. And I'm gonna start like a little TikTok series. But go follow me on TikTok and we're gonna do a series of it. And like, when you run on the bridge, you pass like so, I feel like so many cars like pass me because like it's like the highway. And like so many people are on it. But it was such a good vibe. I love seeing other people running. Now we're gonna chill.
guys, I've had my furniture built for like two hours now, but I haven't been able to get up out of the A chair. So I'll give you guys a tour of what I've done. Look how forking good it looks. It's so comfy. Once I moved this headrest down so my head can like rest here. So comfy. And this is actually so easy to build. It took me like 15 minutes to build this versus that probably took me like three hours combined over like two weeks. But yeah, you guys should do it. It's in my Amazon storefront. Now that we have a coffee table in the living room, I moved this one out here. I'm obsessed with the spot too because I can like look over all my beautiful furniture look out there i want to get some privacy wall but i don't know exactly what whether it be greenery or just privacy wall or like plants and then i can't decide if i want to get like tile or a rug what do you guys think and i think i kind of like the setup like away from like right on top of her but like really cute i'm obsessed my phone's at one percent so i gotta charge it and then i also think i want to meal prep my salad all right i decided we're gonna go ahead and meal prep meal prepping on this on a thursday is weird because like how often am i gonna eat it but it's okay we're gonna start by chopping up the romaine lettuce. I only like romaine lettuce. I'm so mad because I had one of those salad choppers and I left it in the move because I didn't think I would need it anymore. But I need it and I miss it. Because I got one of those things that like dices them, but it seems annoying to clean. Like I don't want to even deal with it. Next up is tomato and cucumber. Normally, if I was working at three night shifts, I would put these into three different bowls, but I'm just putting them into one big bowl and I can just like eat as I please over the days. I never know how much you're like supposed to peel. Like, is it peeled? I have no idea. Next up, a can of olives. I used to hate olives and now I'm obsessed with them. I love chickpeas. Oh my God, this is gonna overflow y'all. Last but certainly not least, feta. Oh my God, it's not cut. That is so annoying. Wow, that is so annoying, y'all. Y'all, this is a monster of a salad. I don't know how I'm gonna mix this. So good. Next time I'm gonna add quinoa. Okay, come duck our first, our first, <laughs> our first Jeep with us. <laughs> okay, here's our options we're choosing between. <laughs> We don't want to give them our best like it's a cute white Jeep. It's a four-door, but like we don't want to go hard Like there's it's not inclining me to do any certain theme to giraffe <laughs> No, that one's cute. I feel like plain purple for our first row. I agree or plain pink We're putting them all in my console. Maybe plain pink. Look how cute they are my neighbor from home She was my mom's bestie sent me a pack of so many ducks What else do we have? Oh, uh, we want to show them? No, because I'm almost out of time. There's a cheerleader. Look, it's us. There's a duck reading a book. <laughs> Let's do purple. Look. Oh my god, it's so cute. Are they even all going to fit in there? We got. That's why we got to give some up. Oh, this one's like a one you could give to them. I need somebody to have a star on their car. You're right, you're right, you're right. I think plain purple or plain. And then you can put some in here. Oh my god, look at this pilot one. Oh, I need to give that to somebody who like has an Air Force thing on their car. Who is this guy? Is he a... Is that Pills? Is that a, like a baby delivery duck? <laughs> I'm a little confused on that one. Oh, I'm sticking my phone sticker on there. Okay, honestly, we need a we need a. The fine... purple is speaking to me. Okay, record me ducking them. Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm just gonna make their whole day like that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that showing up? Yeah. Not the Clemson colors. <laughs> tag me. <laughs> okay, I put my Insta so that they can tag me and I can see it. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Do I put it there? Or do I like put it here? Should I put it there? I think I need to put it there. Or like there. They won't see it. No, on their driver's side. Right. <laughs> They're gonna drive away and it's just gonna... That's cute. Cute. Okay. Yay. <laughs> okay, yeah. This is so high tech. Um, a nine. Yeah. What is it saying? So your feet are measuring 8.1 and 8.2. So that's typically where you want to size up anywhere from a half up to a full size from that measurement oh. to then give you that room we were talking so about. So a nine should be good. Nine's pretty spot on. Next measurement just shows width. So how much space the toes are taking up there in the front of the shoe. B right there is the standard width for a women's shoe. Again, both feet are kind of right there. 
borderline with the C width, um, but to need an actual wide is going to be over in D, so mm -hmm. that would be too big. We'll definitely stick to the standard width, just something with a little bit roomier of okay. a toe box. And then your arches. And again, a little bit of difference there. That kind of thing's very natural, but that right is definitely quite a bit higher mm -hmm. than the left. Shoes on their own don't naturally have a lot of arch support. That's why we do fit for insoles. So mm -hmm. if you try on some shoes, if you find something comfortable, but you feel like you're not quite getting enough arch support, that's mm. always something like we've got the demos and we can always try that out if you'd like. Okay. But the arches, that then brings us to instep. And so this one, you can kind of see from those arrows along the side, it is just more so the height of the foot. So just top to bottom. Mm -hmm. With that, you know, pretty medium, medium high. Mm -hmm. You just want to make sure that the shoe is giving you enough room so you're not feeling a lot of pressure right on the top. Okay. The lacing, things like that. And then heels, and a little more narrow there, kind of medium narrow. Mm -hmm. And so, again, making sure that the back of the shoe is well fit to your foot so you're not going to be slipping out, anything like that. We want it nice and secure there. After that, though, the rest of these tend to start repeating some of the same stuff. Similarities, differences, just kind of what feels good and what you think you might And need. all these would be good for our feet. Yeah, absolutely. Same too. Yeah, you can absolutely. But I just like to keep them all so different. And like, you know what I mean? Like, you have your running shoes and Yeah, you have your separate. You want to see how they feel when you run. So oh, I cute. like this. It's like a hug. Yeah, these are def more squishy. But I, mean, I feel like these are more squishy, but those have more support. Yeah. Yeah, let me go grab a computer and I'll show you all the colors. That mm. Yeah, these feel so good. It turns, yeah. I don't know if I'm just hanging up the chin. And our mom. Surprise on the clock in Argentina. A labyrinth. Okay, I don't know that one that well. That's okay. She was saying the very first night too. I'm not devastated on these. I like the very first night to scream in my car. I missed her performing. 